mice from the old days, the most heartfelt welcome. Uh, I have, together with the authors of three other proposals, arranged this workshop number four, Digital Inclusion, a boon or a bane. And I want you all in this room to be as provocative as possible. This is not technical. This is really putting things to the end. Why should we pay for the equipment, do the job, have no security, and leave all our personal data in some cloud somewhere? So, benefits, pros and cons. And my name is Inga Grunden, and I represent Senior Net Sweden, where elderly teach elderly how to get on the IT trail. A special welcome to our brave, knowledgeable, and distinguished panelists who will introduce themselves one by one. And this is my rock. His name is not Peter, his name is Bo. But he's our moderator, and we have some great technical people over there to help us out, including a remote moderator. Welcome, and this is an interactive workshop. So, it's definitely audience participation. And now the floor is yours. Thank you, Mary. Well, it's good to you. And I start with uh, Ketchuchis Juskovicis. And uh, he is project manager for Libraries for Innovation, the National Library of Lithuania. And uh, will you say a few words about you, you what you're doing? Thank you. Uh, my name is Kestutis Yushkevichas. <laughs> and and uh, as you said, I'm from Lithuania, practically neighboring country, small neighboring country, across the Baltic Sea. Sometimes I'm coming with sailboats to Stockholm, not very far. <laughs> and uh, for me, uh, uh, is digital inclusion of whom our vein, such a name is very challenging. Because five years I was leading the project which was working with digital inclusion, not exclusion. And now you are asking practically if uh, it was useful or not to work five years to do this inclusion. So, such words. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just to make a little information for you. You will find the board chairperson of Sedenet Sweden <coughs> sitting in the... Hello, those so we got two board chairs for Sedenet. Yes, we are happy. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, it's Thank your job. I, I represent the Sedenet Norway, as you said. And for me, it, internet is a boom. And internet is a global communication and the source of knowledge and democratic membership of today's society. Since, since I have been involved in politics all my life, I realized that I wanted to fight the discrimination of people in the third act. So that's why I'm here. I'm not a professionalist on anything, but I am here on behalf of people in the third act. Because our culture in Norway and everywhere, I think, we neither respect nor involve in society people in this stadium of life. <coughs> Modern research has material proof that men and women from 60 to 90 years are a huge potential. We live longer, we are stronger, we are more healthier, more happier, more powerful, and have a human spirit. That should and could be much more useful, not only to the very person, but of course to the whole society to be more civilized and more human. So the key to make this happen is to learn and involve grown up people in the third <coughs> age to participate <coughs> through the internet rooms of all time. Can I continue for one minute? Uh, well, that's good for this time, yeah? Okay, I come strongly back. <laughs> it's a threat. <laughs> I told you it was a promise. promise. <laughs> well, well, let's see. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very happy to be here as so I represent the organization together against cybercrime. Uh, what we try to do, we work in France and uh, in, in other European countries and more globally, we try to develop the awareness raising activities 
uh, in order to fight against cyber crime and to promote cyber security at the individual level. So we have the, the particular focus on vulnerable groups and working <coughs> with the youth with um, social problems, with behavioral problems, and mainly uh, raising the question of how actually promote cyber the, security culture among the, the, I think the discussion about the responsibility that just brought the answer has been very nice for us to hear because you have pointed out both the individual responsibility from the end users and the responsibility from the public side and seen how it must go on side by side to develop this. And I think that's the most interesting conclusion you can do on this thing. And then we have made small jumps of the sides over time, but it has been very, very interesting. And we thank you for taking your time to take part in this panel to give us that. And I'll take the audience, and I'll thank them, you too, because you have been interested in taking part. And then we will finish this with a nice applause for our panel. Yeah.